guys, today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I saw this tag video on The Third Shift, which is the second channel of Julia for Mischievous TV, or Mischievous.TV, and I wanted to do a tag video since it's been so long since I've done one myself, and this tag, of course, as you can read it in the title, is called I'm an Addict, so let's get started. Do you have any addictions to social media or to social networking sites? I will say yes. I am on Facebook every day. I'm on Twitter almost every day. If I'm not on Twitter from my computer, then I'm on it on my phone. I'm also on YouTube almost every day. I'm on Blogger maybe once or twice a week or so to read my blog updates because I don't always follow my Google Reader. So yeah, I, I really love my social networking sites. I think Facebook is a very important one to me because not only do I have my Facebook page, to interact with everybody, but I also keep in contact with a lot of friends and family who doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely addicted in that sense. <laughs> would you rather give up TV or the internet? Well, I would give up TV because you can watch TV on internet, I guess. My business relies on the internet. Yeah, that's pretty easy. TV is not a huge thing for me. I, I have a couple TV shows that I like to watch, but I could do without them, I guess. I'd rather have the internet. Do you listen to the radio? And if you do, which stations? Um, in the car I do. I, I live in the greater Seattle area, so I listen to Spirit 105.3, which is a Christian music station. And I also listen to a couple others, like Warm 106.9, because I like soft contemporary music. I also like 107.7 The End, which is alternative rock. I'm not really into pop music anymore or any of the new music that's out there. I used to really be into it, but lately I just haven't been. There's not a lot of good music out there anymore. And, and lately I've been listening a lot to Pandora and other internet radio stations. Do I read newspapers or magazines? I'm not so big into reading the paper. As I said, I'm online a lot, so I just read the news online. Um, if I need local news, I watch the news. <laughs> if I do watch TV. Um, I do read magazines though. I love Glamour Magazine. That's my hands down favorite. I also read Women's Day <laughs> because they have such amazing recipes and really great tips on how to save money and all of that stuff. So I love Women's Day. I also like reading, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm not really big into other magazines. It just, I don't feel the need to spend all that money on magazines. I'm only going to read one time. Do you place importance on your cell phone? I used to be really into technology and having to have the latest gadget. I got this when it when it was decreased in price. This is the HTC Hero. I downgraded from the Hero, which is awesome. It was one of the first Android phones for Sprint, down to this little dinky flip phone. It does have a camera in it. <laughs> the only thing I use my cell phone for is mainly texting. I don't really call anybody. I don't really like talking on the phone. Since I used to work in a call center, I just, yuck, I don't like talking on the phone as much. So I pay about 20 some odd dollars a month for a prepaid texting phone, basically. But I do still get Wi-Fi on this, so when I'm on the go, I will connect to the internet via my hero with Wi-Fi. So, yeah. Do you prefer a notebook or tablet PCs? Well, I've never used a tablet PC, and I don't own one, obviously. I have a laptop. I prefer my laptop. I love it. Um, I would like to get a new one. Mine is five years old, but it still works. What are your favorite books? Oh, boy. <laughs> I love books. If you know me well, then you know that I love books. I collect books. I have a collection of over 300 books. Lately, I haven't been buying as many books because I just don't have any place to put them. But I love nonfiction books. I try to buy old classic literature that I will love forever. As far as my most favorite book, it's called Atlas Shrugged by Anne Rand. If you have not read it, you need to. It's just an amazing book. I also love Anna Karenina from Leo Tolstoy, uh, Jane Eyre from uh, Charlotte Bronte, and her sister Emily Bronte wrote Wuthering Heights. I love that book as well. And I love old literature, English literature, American literature. Would you rather give up books or movies? That is so tough because I do love my movies too. Um, I would give up the movies because I can always read and I don't read nearly enough and I love reading 
I just don't always have enough time for it. And I could read before I go to bed if I really wanted to. But movies, it's so hard because I have a lot of movies that I love. I just love certain ones that I just watch over and over again. It's the nostalgia and the memories of childhood, like old Disney movies. I don't know, it's really hard, but I would, I guess I'd give up my movies. Hmm. What is your favorite TV series? Oh boy. <laughs> I have so many TV shows that I love to watch. Um, right now, I'm really into Pan Am. That show is awesome. I love the old glamour and the women empowerment. and So I like Pan Am. I also watch Once Upon a Time, um, Desperate Housewives, America's Next Top Model. Those are pretty much... Oh, and Ringer. Ringer is another show that I love to watch. Those are the only shows that I really watch anymore. Um, Gilmore Girls. I used to love Charmed, What Not to Wear. I used to love that show called um, How to Look 10 Years Younger. And I also like um, How to Look Good Naked. That was on Bravo, I think, with, uh, oh, what's his name? I forgot his name, but he was, on, he was just recently on Dancing with the Stars. Um, wow, it just slipped me. I actually look kind of like him because I have the same color hair and almost a similar haircut. Wow. Um, but anyway, that dude was the host of that show, and it was a really good show. I really liked it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't really think of a lot. I love the old classic TV, like Black and White, like I Love Lucy, and The Monsters, I Dream of Jeannie, Bewitched, even though that wasn't Black and White, um, The Annie Griffith Show, Perry Mason, Matlock, um, I did like The Brady Bunch when I was younger. Um, if I had to pick, you know, I'd go with the older ones. Older ones are classic. Would you rather stay in and watch a DVD or go out to see a movie? I like staying in to watch movies because then you can do whatever you want as far as snacks go and you save so much money. But there are times when you just really want to go out and you don't know what to do and a movie just come, is in the theater and you think, oh, why not? It's an easy outing. There, it's, it's a lot of fun just to be able to dress up and go out. So I think I would, if I had the money at all times to go out to movies, I probably would do that. But... You know, sometimes it's really fun just to stay home with and have a big showing of a movie with your friends and you can pause the movie and then you can, you know, get whatever snacks you want, like ice cream and not to spend a million bucks doing it. <laughs> so, um, it's a toss up. I would probably say staying in because you can you have more options with that. If you were to star in a movie, what genre would it be? I love action movies. Action and suspense type movies, um, like the Bourne series and some science fiction type action movies like like Star Trek and Transformers and all those. I love those types of movies. So I think it would be really fun to be able to do my own stunts. I don't know if I would because I'm a big chicken. And I have a I am deathly afraid of falling and hurting myself. So I would probably be a big chicken, but it would be so much fun to be in some sort of big action sequence and, and have all that gross looking makeup on with the dirt and the blood and stuff. So I think that'd be kind of fun. I guess I really like my makeup. It'd be really fun to be in an intense movie where you have to get very deep into character to make it look to evolve a character and make this character come to life. So I think that'd be a lot of fun. What book, movie, or TV show character is most like you? Um, I would, that's a hard question to answer. Um, in a lot of ways I'm kind of like Rory off of Gilmore Girls because I'm quirky and weird sometimes. And I'm smart because my dad died when I was young. I grew up in a single parent home with, the, with my mom and my sister. So in that sense I feel kind of connected to Rory in that sense. Which celebrity would you like to meet? I would love to meet Alyssa Milano. She does a lot of charitable works and I just think she's a beautiful person and I would just love to hear her passion for life. It's just amazing. I would love to be inspired by that and meet her in person. I would also love to meet Ashley Judd for the same reason. I think she's just a beautiful person and she does a lot of great charity work and um, she just, they both amaze me. They're just beautiful people. Favorite computer or console games? I don't really play a lot of computer games uh, since I'm so busy with other things. When I am on the computer, I like to play Bejeweled and a couple Facebook games. That's about it. I, I have an HP computer, so if you have an HP, then you know that there's a little um, program on there called HP Games where you get to download games for free. You get two full version tr um, trials before you have to use your coins or whatever to play. And I usually pick games that I know I can beat within those two tries, so 
I don't really play a lot of games. I like, I don't know, I, I like really, oh, um, on old school Mac computers and old Apples, uh, you could, there was this one game called A Mess of Trouble, and it's so old, you, t you, you had to type in commands, and it, it was a kind of like a puzzle game, and what would happen is you're stuck in this alternate universe, and you're trying to get your way through it, and solve like this puzzle or this mystery or something but it was so hard because I could never get the commands to go through it, you had to word it just right and it was almost like but you got to choose which path you go down so it wasn't set out for you but so like you'd come to this this area where you can go right left straight or go back and you type it in and then you can go through an adventure in that way so I really like that game I've never beaten it yet since I don't have an Apple or Mac computer but I eventually am going to be getting a MacBook Pro and once I do I am downloading that game and I'm gonna to try to beat it with all my might so that's one game I, I liked I liked to play um, as far as console games I am very old school <laughs> I love the old Nintendo system and I still have the original PlayStation and that's about that's the only game system I have and yeah I'm pretty old school <laughs> I love Spyro I love kid games I love Spyro and the Pac-Man the Pac-Man adventure game those are fun and oh need for speed oh my goodness that fun that's so much fun my sister and I used to play that game and I used to beat her at it and it was so much fun and she used to get so mad at me and then she wouldn't want to play anymore then I'd have to convince her that she should and I'd let her win a couple times and then I'd start beating her again because hello what's the point of playing if you can't beat somebody right <laughs> um oh and I also like the old siphon filter games. It was kind of. It was about a government conspiracy in, in some sort of like CIA operatives, and you had different missions you had to complete, and you got to kill people. It's probably the most one of the most violent games I've ever played, but I really love it. And even though the graphics now suck because there's so many new games out there with awesome 3D type, um, you know, realistic looking things, old schools. PlayStation, it, it just, I love it. And, um, my cousin and I used to get together to hang out and we would play his old, th um, Xbox 360 and we used to play Halo 3 and he had the Xbox Live account and, he, uh, and so did his brother so I'd play his brother's account and we would do the matchmaking with King of the Hill and, uh, a couple other of them, uh, other matchmaking games and I love it. I, I'm awful at that game. But it's so much fun. You get to shoot aliens. Come on. So, yeah. Your favorite music genres. I love jazz. I love classical music. I like some Baroque. I used to really like pop, but as I said before, it's not really enticing anymore because people are so into dancing and I just, I love to dance, don't get me wrong, but the words and the, and the lyrics and the synthetic sounding robotic voices are just not appealing to me. So it's sad because music's kind of taken a huge... Um, I like some country. I grew up listening to country because of my dad. I, I love my Christian music. And I, I love hard rock and alternative rock music as well. What band or singer did you love as a kid? As I said, I grew up listening to country from my dad. My mom was really into 70s and 80s rock. So I grew up listening to Alana Miles. Uh, she had, she was kind of a one-hit wonder out of Canada who came out, came out with that song Black Velvet. And my mom had the tape, so I'd listen to that. My dad got me into Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, so I used to listen to them all the time. Dan Seals, um... Tanya Tucker, Reba McIntyre, uh, George Strait, Bonnie Raitt, The Cars, Rolling Stones, Duff Leppard, Billy Squire, and then my brother was into kind of the grungy hard hard rock going into metal phase. My younger brother is 10 years older than I am. So he was into Green Day and System of a Down in the later 90s when I was a little bit older. He liked... Oh, and Nirvana and, and such. In high school, I evolved from the pop music into the hard rock, and that's when I started really listening to Green Day, System of a Down, Incubus, um, alternative sounding bands, Muse, all of them. Yeah, I graduated five years ago, so it's not like I'm that old, but those are pretty much who I grew up listening to. And final question, why did you join YouTube? I joined YouTube 
a, a long time ago because I needed a username to be able to comment, so that's the main reason I got an account. But the reason I started uploading videos, or perhaps makeup videos, is because I really enjoy doing makeup. For the longest time, I wasn't able to actually paint, so I got really into makeup as a form of expression. I wanted to share that with people, and, and finally it starts started to grow a little bit. So I'm hoping that my YouTube channel will grow a bit more, and that... You know, I, I can continue doing this for a while. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, comment, uh, thumbs up, all that sorts of things. Subscribe, that would make my day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Stay electric. Bye.